What's up, meatbags? It's the Off Imitated, Never Duplicated, Tony TGD, coming at you with a quick review uh, and thoughts on a comic called Holt Number 1. This is an indie comic. In full disclosure, I was given access to the entire Holt uh, graphic novel, all 60 pages of it, read through the whole thing. And I also have an interview planned with the creator of Holt, uh, Cedric Wood. But with that said, we're going to go ahead, we're going to get into it, but first... We gotta hit that theme music. Hey, hey, get out of my way. This is the music hot takes, so you might as well stay. It's time to listen to the geek in a word. Okay, so what is Holt? Holt is an independent comic from Pull Noel Punches Press. It is uh, written by Cedric Wood. And it is illustrated by Matt Oppenheimer. As you can see, Holt number one here. This is the cover. Uh, it's got a very John Wick-esque looking hero on the cover. We got somebody here in a ninja costume, Cedric Hood, Matt Oppenheimer. And we're going to give you a little synopsis included in this page. It says, when a war hero returns home after his mission is accomplished, he learns of a planned assassination attempt on his life from an old friend turned foe. Things get more complex when balancing depleted funds and family, all while managing his own failed private military company, which may be built on the backs of bloody betrayal and empty promises. It's Metal Gear Solid meets Christopher Nolan's Memento. Mature reading contains nudity, sexual situations, and violence. Uh, it is 22 pages for number one, 8.19 megabytes, and this will cost you $3.99 here on Gumroad. I will put the link in the description of the video. Now, there was a Kickstarter for the entire graphic novel. It is a 61-page graphic novel. Uh, and like I said, I did read through the entire graphic novel. And I don't want to spoil it, right? I, there is, it is a little bit of a mystery, uh, a little bit of world building. You know, I'm trying to uh, not spoil it, so I'm going I'm to describe it as best I could. All right, so basically, Fox Greaves is an ex-military hero who learns of an assassination attempt on his own life. He goes to track down the people responsible so he can stop the assassination, because obviously he doesn't want to get killed, right? In the process, shit hits the fan. You got buildings being exploded by missiles, uh, people getting eaten, uh, wild robot fights, nuclear powered babies. That's right, you heard it. Nuclear powered babies. Uh, when you see it, you're going to be like, holy shit. Um, it, it grabs you for a wild ride from page one, right? When, when you start reading it, it hooks you in, it grabs you, and you're like, you got to know where it's going, right? You, you got to figure it out. And now the 22-page, the 21-page, uh, I don't, don't want to misspeak here. Let's go back. It is uh, 22 pages. The 22-page issue number one, uh, it's going to leave you off on a cliffhanger, $3.99. You don't get the entire story, so you get left off on a cliffhanger. I don't know when issue number two is coming. Uh, from my understanding... What he wants to do is sell issue number one, get you hooked, and then sell you the entire graphic novel at a later date uh, because the Kickstarter is already over. Uh, people who have pledged to that are going to get the entire graphic novel now. Uh, now he's trying to get more people interested, so he's offering 22 pages. You know, one-third of the book is an issue number one. And my understanding is it's not going to be an issue two and three. It's just going to be issue number one. And then the uh, other 44 pages, maybe, or the entire 61 pages, whatever it comes out to be. Uh, but like I said, it does leave you off on a bit of cliffhanger. Uh, so be aware of that uh, if you intend to buy this. Uh, I would give the story about a 7 out of 10. It's not excellent. It's not great. Uh, does introduce a lot of characters. But you don't get a lot of depth to these characters, right? There's characters coming in and out of the story, and they just kind of shuffle through. And you're like, oh, you meet some people, and then they're gone a couple pages later. So that's a little annoying. Uh, there's lots of hints as to you know things going on in the background, people's history, uh, character relationships, that you don't get really fully fleshed out. Uh, because like I said, it is a wild ride. It's nonstop. Uh, you buckle in and you, you take off to the races. It's not uh, a slow, meandering story. Uh, there's one, maybe one and a half slow scenes, you know, where it kind of sets a little things up. But 
other than that, you don't get much, right? You're not getting a lot of background. You're not getting a lot of exposition. It's a lot of action, a lot of moving the plot forward. Yeah. Which is a good thing and a bad thing, right? It's a good thing because it keeps you invested. It keeps you turning them pages and trying to find out, see what happens next. However, the payoff is kind of a dud. Uh, you're not really introduced to a lot of characters. You're not introduced to their motivations, their backstories. So when you get the big uh, reveal, it's kind of like, mm, meh, right? It's not, it's not a big uh, shocker. It's not something that like you're, you could have really guessed. It's, it's just kind of a, eh. So that is disappointing. That happens a lot in mysteries, right? The mystery is usually better than the reveal. The reveal is very hard to live up to the mystery. And in this case, it falls short. Uh, there was one typo in the graphic novel that I read. Uh, I did make Cedric aware of this. The art, hit or miss. Uh, the first half is very, very crosshatch heavy. A lot of shadows. Um, really busy. Uh, I'll show a couple screens from the Kickstarter uh, so you can get kind of an idea of what I'm talking about here. Uh, so this is, you know, I think it's uh, page one of the story. As you can see, like lots of cross hatching, lot, lots of shadows. You know, nothing's allowed to be solid, solid color. It's, it's, it's a lot of this. Real busy, real busy. You know, highly detailed, but again, cross hatching, real busy, kind of dirty, look to it almost gritty. Um, now, if we slink ahead, now this is from later in the book. As you can see, it's a lot sharper, it's a lot more solid. You got solid colors. You, you, they eased up on the cross hatching. You don't got a lot of shadow. Excessive shadows on all the objects, uh, you know, only where needed. Uh, they toned it down. In the second half, you know, after, I think it's after, like, page 23 or 4, uh, the art gets a lot better. It gets a lot crisper, stands out more. It's a lot stronger. The early pages, like I said, it looks a lot dirtier, a lot of shadows, over cross hatching. Uh, I'm not an artist. Maybe I'm using the wrong term. Uh, but yeah, that's the way I see it. Uh, again, as you can see, these are the later pages, and again, it's nice and crisp. Uh, characters stand out; they're, they're you know real sharp. The images stand out. Now uh, it's called Holt, and I I don't know why I don't, couldn't figure it out. There's nothing in the story itself that that tells me why it's called Holt. If there was, maybe I missed it. Uh, but I did read it twice, uh, so I don't know. The twist on the main character is pretty interesting. Uh, leads to a lot more questions. And I think that's the biggest strength and weakness of this book. Is there are a lot of questions that you want answered that the book just doesn't answer. It just doesn't, right? It doesn't take the time. It doesn't bother. It's, it's not there to hold your hand and explain things to you about this world and how things work. It's just like... Here it is, and accept it for what it is, and just keep going on with the story. So like I said, it is fast-paced, action-packed. There is nudity. It's very brief, very tasteful. Uh, it says there's gore, but it's not really gore. It's like R-rated gore. It's not like we're not getting, you know, uh, uh, cannibal holocaust-type gore, right? It's not that graphic. It, it's, it's a little... Uh, there was some elements that reminded me of Akira, if you're familiar with the uh, Japan animation Akira. So there's some some elements of sci-fi in there. Uh, all things said, it is a solid book. I recommend it. If you're interested in this type of story, if you're interested in, in a action-packed, quasi-sci-fi, sort of, not really a mystery, but uh, action-packed, revenge-type plot, uh, I recommend this. It is what three ninety nine uh, for the twenty two pages. I will put the link in the description of the video. Uh, has lots of potential. I see potential for you know further stories within this world. 
there was good world building, but there was unnecessary world building. That's another thing, right? It showed certain things. Uh, like at the very beginning, there's a uh, depiction of women of the night arguing with robots of the night, right? But that has nothing to do with anything else, right? You're shown this, and this plays into none of the events of the, of the book, plays into none of the events of the world. It has no bearing on anything. It's just a thing that they show you, and then uh, it's just there. So it builds the world, but it's kind of unnecessary. They could have skipped that, gave you a little more background on some of the characters. I am interested in some of them. Uh, I'm interested on Fox Greaves, the main character. He's got an interesting little quirk. Uh I want to know how that works. I want to know more about this. And I think that, like I said, it is a great strength because you want characters that are, that are interesting, that people want to know more about. But when you're an independent company like this, it's very hard to get that, you know, book after book after book. And if you're having space between uh, releases, you have, you know, long windows, uh, people are just going to forget. People are just going to move on, right? The interest is going to die down. Uh, so hopefully uh, Cedric can pump out some more. I don't know if this is a one-and-done situation. I'll ask him when uh, we get him on the channel for an interview. Uh, but like I said, I am interested in some of the characters. I'm interested in some of the things that were set up. Uh, maybe uh, we're going to get some uh, more stuff in this world. I really hope so. Like I said, 7 out of 10, not the greatest. Um, like I said, I did take some, some points off, you know. Uh, the art at the beginning is not as good as the art towards the end of the book. Uh, the fact that you you introduce characters, but you don't just, you don't really know a lot about them, just kind of shuffled into the story and out. Uh, and, you know, the book could have really benefited from about twenty more pages. That's how I would say. Like, if this had given me twenty more pages to the graphic novel, I probably would have been a lot more satisfied things would have been a lot more fleshed out it would have made a lot more sense as it stands now i'm left with questions uh, i'm left uh, not confused but more like unsatisfied uh, by the conclusion not much else to say about it like i said it is a solid book seven out of ten if you're interested in it if you think you might like it i suggest you Check it out yourself. Check out there are pages in the uh, Gum Road. You know more pages from inside the book. You can check out the art. See if you like the the words, the, the uh, dialogue. And I'm really tripping over my words here. And like I said, we're gonna have Cedric on the channel uh, sometime in August. We scheduled an interview, so you know if you're you have any questions, you know leave them in, leave them in the the comment section below or hit me up on Twitter. Send me an email or something, and I will give them to Cedric, and we'll hash them out. Other than that, if you've got a comic book you want me to check out, if you've got an independent thing that you said, hey, maybe you should uh, give your thoughts on this other independent comic, or uh, if you got a fan fiction story you want me to read, what have you, right? Because I'm here for you guys. I'm here to serve the people. So let me know what you, your thoughts in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on Twitter. And as always, love, peace, booty grease. I'm out this bitch.